Greetings. It's an honor to finally meet you. Welcome to New Romulus and the First Alliance Summit. The opening ceremonies will begin soon. Until then, please, wait here in the assembly hall. It is a pleasure to finally meet you. Your reputation precedes you, of course. Were it not for your efforts, this summit wouldn't be happening. Allow me to thank you for that, on behalf of the United Federation of Planets. We've quite the journey ahead of us, but we'll begin today by taking that important first step. Today is a momentous occasion for us all. Let us hope that this conference goes better than the one at Ketuma. You have done well to prove that we need this agreement to succeed. Still, it would be naive of us all to assume that this peace will last any longer than the ones that have come before. More likely, we are on the peaceful side of a giant circle, and it is only a matter of time before we find the side of war once more. Thank you for coming today. It's a personal goal of mine to ensure the preservation of the fleet as we move toward an uncertain future. And I could use your support in this endeavor. I suspect you're not ready to send your vessel to the scrapyard just yet. I confess this summit concerns me, as in so many things. I fear that the plight of my people shall be forgotten amidst the soothing, honeyed words of the Federation and the battle cries of the Klingons. What hope does the Republic have of being heard above such a quarrel? Or the Remans? Welcome. Your presence here will, I hope, keep some of the more passionate delegates in check. Too often the call to arms is the only sound they recognize. Greetings. This summit should prove to be quite lively. From what I've seen of Klingon diplomacy, the Embassy medical team will be quite busy. I do hope they refrain from serving ale during the proceedings. Jolan True. Truly, we are witnesses to history. If only my esteemed mentor, Ambassador Spock, had lived to see this day. When reflecting upon this summit, I am reminded of an ancient Terran saying he once taught me. They shall beat their swords into plowshares. Many here today would see that come to pass for us, I think. And yet, despite the withdrawal of the Iconians, we have many enemies throughout the Void. Many worlds must be rebuilt to survive. It seems we have great need of both swords and plowshares. A strong alliance can secure both of them for us all. The opening ceremonies are about to begin. Ambassador Sugihara will be making an announcement shortly. May I have your attention? The summit is about to commence. Please, join me in the main conference room now. So glad you could make it. I have to admit, 
You've done what many believe to be impossible, bringing everyone to the table to form a greater galactic alliance. Well done. Now, if you would be so kind, would you mind escorting your leader to the conference room? I can't think of a better honor guard. And so, the time has come. Let us see what the elements have in store for us, my friends. Fellow delegates, honored guests, we stand at a crossroads. <coughs> Chancellor, that Romulan poisoned his wine. This is Romulan treachery. We did no such thing. You. Once again, you meddle in the affairs of your betters, alien! No, I suppose not. Then know this. I am Specialist Krog. I am trained to withstand all forms of torture. Feel free to ask me what you will. But I will not be cooperative! One that shall be free of your wretched species, I think. And soon! <laughs> Incorrect! How your kind slipped free of your wretched homeworld eludes me! To this room? A simple matter of putting one foot in front of the other, really. With considerable practice, you may be able to master the technique. Although I have my doubts. A clumsy, childish attempt at reason. Ugh, pathetic! One of my people is worth a thousand of your misbegotten species. <laughs> Wrong. Such a simple matter. And yet, the truth is beyond your grasp! Search the skies for a star in the grip of death, and you may find my home. <laughs> ha 
It amuses me to watch you flail about so. One star down, trillions to go. Hello. I see you've discovered a temporal anomaly. We detected a time breach in the 29th century. Strangely, we couldn't track the actual traveler, but we sensed a change in history on this day and time. Seemed like a good idea to investigate it. No doubt an attempt to fatally undo the Alliance Summit. Quite the terrorist act. If this summit fails, everything you saw in the future would be disrupted at best. At worst, that future will cease to exist entirely. If you adjust your tricorder settings to analyze chroniton emissions, you'll discover her point of origin as the 29th century. We weren't able to track her until she actively tried to kill President Okeg. Quite the skilled infiltrator, our anomaly. I'm not reading any other not cool here, nor have I picked up any other temporal anomalies yet. So I suspect she is working alone. Still, I wouldn't put it past her to be a small part of a greater temporal incursion. This may come as a surprise, but my preliminary bioscans indicate that she is from the Nakul system. Go to the future? If we're certain they are from Nakul, wouldn't a preemptive strike in this time put an end to any of their future ambitions? That's correct. The safest course of action is to stop the incursion at its point of origin, the 29th century Nakul system. Time is of the essence. We'll need to leave soon. May I suggest turning over your prisoner to Commander Jarak before we depart? I'll be happy to acquaint Specialist Krog with the interior of a high-security Romulan holding cell. Good hunting. <laughs> 